There you are. I have a job for you. I'm ready to serve you, Grand Zealot. There is a woman, one of our own. Or she was. Gwyneth. But she's given herself over to something... dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Thiel to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found. And executed. I'll find her, Grand Zealot. Good. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. Another child. Dead at the hands of Far Harbor. And what if you he is coming. Adam shall come and bear witness to all my wretchedness. And he... Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the Mother of the... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other Zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well, as I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her, at least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. The vessel is breathtaking, is it not? A machine. Scraps torn from some kind of banner.
The world will see Adam's glory. How do you think the High Confessor speaks to Adam? Through the voice in his head, or do you think he has to say the words aloud? The messages are posted. I, I know it could mean my life, but the children must know. I was paging through a pre-war tome when I saw it. The atom. A tiny speck of matter surrounded by endless depths. A vast emptiness that dwells within us all. It only reaffirmed what I'd felt all this time. The truth the professor wanted no one to hear. The love. Too late to save them from Adam's lies. Come here. Are you seeking the truth of nothing? The children of Adam want you dead. You need to stop defiling their holy sites. I can't. I have a duty that is greater than myself. One that is worth any sacrifice. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin, by Tectus. It's a false gospel, all of it. What they don't want you to know is that Adam is but a tiny moat in the vastness of nothing. Nothing is the true nature of existence. I have seen it with my own eyes. A void so vast and empty, like a night sky without stars. I know it is difficult to accept, but you must, and so must the others. They deserve to know the truth. Look, I know you think you're trying to save the children of Adam, but you could be wrong. It's not too late to turn back and atone for your actions. I wish I could believe that. If you stay here, you're as good as dead. You need to leave this island and never come back. Hmm. There's wisdom in your words. If I cannot save the children of Adam from their blindness, 
Perhaps I can spread the word elsewhere. Yes. Nothing's will becomes more clear to me now. I must spread the message to all who will hear, no matter how far the journey. You should tell Richter and the others that I'm dead. I can't risk them following me. Thank you for opening my eyes to that which I could not see. Have you finished your prayers already? Adam's justice will be done. Sister Gwyneth won't be troubling you any longer. She brought it on herself. Won't ask you for the details. Doesn't really matter to me. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, brother. Glory to Adam. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam.